is vulnerability management something that SOC analysts do? It's split 50-50. 50% of the people said no, 50% of the people said yes. So I figured we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it right here, right? So we can just go through it. All right, so low and informational blind spots are critical. This is a basic section for SOC analysts and the SOC analysts that I've encountered recently that are doing like vulnerability management, they're doing it the wrong way. They're going through and they're starting with the highs and the criticals and those are the only things they take care of and they ignore everything else. They're breaking things up constantly by IP address and that doesn't work, right? It just doesn't work at all. And further, they spend a lot of time on this, right? And if you look at the MITRE ATT&CK technique matrix, two squares out of all of them are addressable by like vulnerability management. Like you get that traditional, this is a CVE. So we, we, we wanna set the right amount of time and we wanna be able to set it up in such a way that we can get the maximum bang for a buck. So here's the wrong way. Many organizations address vulnerabilities by the IP addresses. They're gonna go through and they're gonna break them up and they're gonna go each IP address one at a time. This is daunting. So if you have a thousand IP addresses, 25 vulnerabilities, you're gonna to try to address 25,000 vulnerabilities. The hell with that. No one wants to do that. Ain't no one got time for that. We aren't gonna deal with that at all. It's the most common approach that I see and it's wrong. Like you just shouldn't do it this way. Instead, stop focusing on IP addresses and range and instead focus on the vulnerabilities. So instead of 25,000 vulnerabilities, you're really looking at like a few hundred vulnerabilities spread across multiple systems. What I mean is you're gonna have systems that have the exact same vulnerability. And as a SOC analyst, you gotta ask yourself, how do we address these vulnerabilities globally across all of our different systems? How do we use that as automation? This is incredibly effective. And you know, we've talked about IONS faculty and also at BHIS, we've scanned a million IP addresses and we're able to get through that in less than three weeks. That, that's because we use this technology or technique. We take the technique of taking the vulnerability and working backwards. And that's because that same vulnerability be replicated across hundreds, if not thousands of computer systems as well.